Thank you. Good evening. It is, has been a pleasure to welcome President Obama to the EU-US summit here in Lisbon. It is the first time that as President of the European Council, along with the President of the European Commission, I am hosting this annual summit on behalf of the 27 heads of state and government of the European Union just one year after the previous summit. The United States is and continues to be our closest and most important partner. Both the EU and the US are in, in a rapidly changing G20 world. We share a transatlantic area of 800 million people producing almost half of the world's GDP. We share the same values, interests, and objectives. To build on this common ground, it is not enough to simply use expressions like transatlantic dialogue or strategic partnership. We need to set things into motion, and that's why our discussion focused on concrete concerns for our citizens, jobs and growth, security, and the world clean and stable. We have had a good discussion this afternoon. I would like to underline the following three points, the economy, security, and foreign policy. First, at the center of our ambitions to advance the economic recovery. In global terms, this means engaging constructively together and with emerging economies on global imbalances. We have a common interest to ensure that what was agreed last week with difficulties in Seoul on this issue will be delivered. On bilateral aspects, President Barroso will brief you. As regards the EU's own economic situation, I underline here, as I did earlier to President Obama, that the fundamentals of our economy are sound. The European Union has much higher levels of economic growth than expected a few months ago. We have low inflation, a current account of the balance of payments in equilibrium, and positive prospects for jobs in 2011. A lot of member states are involved in reform programs to strengthen their economies, to consolidate their budgets, and to prepare the aging of the population. The Union decided upon a new and robust framework for economic governance in order to underpin our common currency and our common market. And moreover, we have put in place the necessary instruments of financial support under strong conditionality to overcome the current problems in the Eurozone. And second, we share the same vision on the future of security. Both our societies are built on the free flow of people, goods, and information. The networks these flows require face threats of a new kind, terrorism, market disruption, and cyber attacks. The European Union and the US cooperation has added value here. And that's why we decided to develop our partnership on a wide range of security issues. This needs to be founded on our respect for fundamental rights and freedoms. On cybersecurity, as also stated earlier at the NATO summit, is a threat with an immense impact. EU-US cooperation in this field can contribute to protect ourselves against it. I'm therefore happy to announce that the European Union and the United States will enhance their cooperation by creating an EU-US working group on cybersecurity. The working group will report progress within a year. And furthermore, speedy compromise on a comprehensive EU-US data protection agreement 